right, guys, today's product that we're putting in is called Quartzite. It's the real stuff. Quartz is a man-made, and we're looking at the back side, but I want to show you something, how the precision of this is. This little notch right here has been cut out because up here, and I'll show you in the ceiling, it has to slide right in the side, and it's got to be at a certain, we've got an angle here they had to cut, this here, so let me take you over. This has been a process that's been going on for several months. That quartzite piece, it's real quartz, it'll be illuminated with all these lights, has to go around that light tray, and it's gonna slide in those metal tracks, so that'll be the first one that they put on. Everything slides from the front, and then they'll slide two pieces from the side. I think overall weight is over 2,000 pounds, and it's gotta be hung from the ceiling. Okay, because everything's so heavy, they're securing the scaffolding around these two by fours. The house is all finished. We got the floors protected. We have stuff underneath it, but they now have created little wood blocks around so it doesn't slide when they're up there hanging this heavy granite. So we're just about ready to get started here. So there, there are some writings on the back to know left, right, bottom. This stuff is so uh, translucent, they're sanding off the wording that they wrote on the back so you don't turn the lights and see somebody's uh, writing on the back side. What's happening up there is they have the metal track in place and the screw heads are just enough hanging down below. They weren't countersunk. So we're gonna try get an impact drill to try tighten them up. Then if that doesn't work, they're gonna have to pull this back out and grind down the top edge to get this to slide in. It's just a hair off. Okay, so they took it back off. We have to go, they're gonna go back outside with that little cart. They have to grind off a little bit off the bottom because it's just a little bit too tall from the, uh, to fit around the light soffit. So back outside it goes. It's part of the process, very tedious work. And they're gonna have to shave a little bit of this off. So they'll go outside and they'll bring her back. Well, so they're, wondering there's a metal track at the top and the bottom. Once a quartzite goes in, I'll show you. Since it's sitting right here, we gotta make that go away. So there's going to be a metal decorative piece that covers here as well as the top. So once these guys are done, then the metal guys come back and we'll finish this all off. I think we got her, did all the grinding we hopefully we need to do. Go, you come here as well? Yeah, he took off here right. to here. here. He took off a little bit there and then on the Oh, side. so you didn't you didn't do the bottom, huh? No. Th oh. Well don't worry about that at the top because we're gonna have something to cover. This is the first one going in. Let's hope this is the hard one, right guys? <laughs> yeah. There's always one. All right, as luck would have it, the homeowners moved in last night, two days early, because they had got out of their house quicker than they thought. So they're living in a construction site right now. So all this was supposed to have been done before they moved in, but they're very patient and understanding people, and it's all coming together. The countertops for the kitchen backsplash are coming as well. Well, it slid right into very nice, and so now they're just making sure it's far enough back so we can slide the other piece across the front. Do you have a brother that lays tile by chance? Because you have a have an evil twin. Oh, yeah? No, yeah. Is he the one that's ruining your reputation around town? No? No. Okay. Well, the little track keeps this from touching the lights, so... Uh, whoa! Lights work! Man! Let's see the side. Yeah, how's that look on the side? Wow, there we go. That's pretty. 
So in addition to having the homeowners living in the house, they're in their bedroom now trying to sleep through all this, we have a lot going on. I have Eugenio outside. We had to now create a new path from the garage behind the house to get to the addition because we can no longer come through the house. We have Tom, the trimmer here is working. Let me show you. He did get that arch put in place. And we also have another countertop company coming in at the same time. And then there's supposed to be painters here touching up. So it's kind of organized chaos. Again, is what a job site looks like. So let me show you Eugenio outside. Okay, so here's what Eugenio had to build. We had to scoop all the walks. This is all frozen snow and ice. So we're now creating a ramp to get into, this is now our access into the job site, all the way around the house, or maybe even through the garage. Let's just hope the weather holds so we don't get more snow and ice, makes it more challenging. But we got Rory over here trimming and cutting in the addition so we don't make a mess in the house. So we're, he is finishing up the trim where the house and the addition get married together. So you're almost, how are you doing, Rory? You about done? Yes, sir. We are uh, just a couple windows to go and a little bit of baseboard. All right, and the painters show up at one o'clock. So I think we'll be ready you got him. three hours. All right, you can do it. We'll be there. All right, so here we are going back. This is the addition that's got to get caught up to the main house. And this is the only door here that keeps this private from the, the main house. Here we are back into the finished part. So remodeling, if you're going to remodel your house someday, you got to be a little patient understanding. In a perfect world for me, I like it when the homeowners move out because you don't want this every single day when you wake up for coffee in the morning, having a house full of contractors. So if you can afford it, move out, it goes quicker. It's a cleaner site when it's all done, but we just missed it by two days. This is piece number two. It's the other, the other side, and it's just a mirror image what they just put in. Got the notches, the angle. Let's hope this one was cut right. So it slides in. These guys deserve a great. guys caught a break that second piece slid right in with no problems so hopefully luck is on their side there we have two more pieces to go one big slab slides in from the left and the other one slides in from the right they meet in the middle and they'll marry up all the grain and then we'll be able to present this thing all done so stay tuned we're just about at the finish line so today there's two fireplaces in the house the one upstairs and there's one downstairs that one's half done this is the finished upper part that we're going in this is absolutely beautiful um, is this a granite? What is this thing? This like is a, granite. This is all granite. If you could feel it, it feels like leather. It's got elevated raised pieces on it. So I'll take you downstairs and show you where this last piece is going to go. You can tell they moved in. One garage is full of stuff. Here's the arts and craft room. More stuff. We have a second pantry kitchen. Here's more stuff. All right, we've got the uh, backsplash for the kitchen going in. And as luck would have it, these outlets are too close to the edge. They're afraid when they cut this backsplash out that it's gonna weaken this edge, could break. So Mark's here taking these apart and we're gonna move them in about eight inches to give a stronger edge on this real granite. So downstairs, I wanna show you, still moving in guys, lots of stuff here. This is the next piece to come off the truck. It's one big slab and they've mitered these back corners so it'll fit tight against the wall and that color will have a nice contrast against this solid black granite. And if you remember a while back, I was showing you when we installed this, they taped these corners, they caulked it, and then they came in and grouted or grinded this down. So it looks like one big solid piece. They did a fantastic job. There's even more stuff here at the bar. This is the good stuff we have to offload. Maybe I'll help with that type of moving, but we're just about, well, they're moved in, but now the hard part is getting unpacked. That's going to be coming here tomorrow, the big glass wall for the wine cellar. So I feel sorry for these people, but they're in their nice new house. Stuff is everywhere. Here comes the granite.
So you saw these guys drilling holes through this granite and now what you've done, so we've got this to deal with, these little screws are in to give it additional support, but they'll come back, they're pretty good at mixing up a little concoction. So down here, what they're gonna do is they've got this uh, silicone that they mix in with the color and they'll put it right over this with that and they'll, we'll come back and this thing will totally disappear. But that's an extra precaution to make sure this thing does not tip out. They do such fine work. I'm excited to see this all done. The homeowner's gonna love this. It's really a great look in contrast with this slab full color below and then this wonderful accent color up above. So this is too pretty to put a TV on. So this is like artwork. That was piece number three that slid into really nice and as you can notice this piece is closer to the ceiling than the other side so we have to put everything starting from the far right and slide it across so they've left this a little bit long which allows for the other piece to come in and then they'll push this back this will join up nice and tight and then they'll silicone the corners in the middle and we should have a finished fireplace so here comes the piece number four went in really nice. The first one was the hardest and thank God it's all downhill from there. Now they're just gonna make some minor adjustments and then there's a seam in the front. They'll push it together nice and tight, caulk it, and you'll look like it's one piece. That's the goal. So much better with all, I mean, the beautiful, look at Mother Nature. This is the real deal out of Mother Earth. And uh, all those swirls, and they've joined it all up together. Looks like one big piece on the front. So excellent job. All right, there's been eight guys working on this whole thing. We finally got it all done. It's all set up. They're just doing their fine touches with the uh, silicone down the middle to hide the seam. They're gonna start taking all the scaffolding down and finish the hearth down below. I will come back and show you the finished product once everything's all cleaned up. And this thing turned out fantastic. I'm sure the homeowner's gonna love it.